Ice and automobiles do not go together well. But what about ice and trees? Scientists at the U.S. Forest Service decided to find out how trees respond when they get covered in a heavy coating of ice. I was actually on the road uh, going to a scientist meeting, seeing all the cars sliding off the road and seeing the devastation to the forest. And I looked at that and I thought, oh my goodness, I mean, this is something we really need to know more about. But fortunately, ice storms don't happen all that often. So, Lindsay Rustad and a Forest Service colleague decided to create their own in an outdoor forest laboratory. We have two of these pumping vehicles going up and down the length of our uh, basketball size courts, and they're spraying in arcs kind of at each other, but it, it's perfectly uh, choreographed. Ice storms, like most other weather events, are expected to become more common and more extreme as the climate continues to get warmer. We want to understand that ability of trees to rebound from things, even some things that look somewhat devastating. But we also know that that ability to rebound is not, you know, infinite. So far, the data suggests that the more ice that falls or freezes, the harder time trees will have recovering.